Hello friends, myself Halavat Ramesh from Chennai. Today we will talk about CSR net chemistry interdisciplinary topics. What are the interdisciplinary topics? And you can see the earlier what questions it's they ask and those brief introduction today we will discuss. And uh, you can see that from my profile to here see CSR net chemistry interdisciplinary topics. What are the interdisciplinary topics? and you can find out from here and you can go by slide by slide you can see the first one slide I mentioned here interdisciplinary topics what are the interdisciplinary topics means first one chemistry in nano science and technology and second one is the catalysis and green chemistry and third one medicinal chemistry and fourth one supramolecular chemistry and fifth one is environmental chemistry okay these are the interdisciplinary topics of CSI and net chemistry you can see the what are the bits in the earlier exams they came and what are the important bits okay you can each one lessons I took the four to five bits and you can go through slide by slide okay you can see the first one question first one bit the chemical bonding of carbon nanotubes is composed entirely by here given the four options a1 is the sp bond and b1 is the sp2 bonds and c1 is the sp3 bonds and d1 is the none of the above what is the question? The chemical bonding of carbon nanotubes is composed entirely by carbon nanotubes means are the tubes that made up of carbon, right? And it means diameter. So the carbon tubes they form the between the bonds like a pullerin, the bonds will be a sp2 bonds will form. So the first one answer is sp2 bonds. So first one the correct option is B1 is correct, sp2 bonds. You can go through the second one bit. The carbon nanotubes are members of which structural family? The carbon nanotubes, which family here given the four options A1 is the glycerol, B1 is the polyanilines, and C1 is the pullerin, and D1 is the amines. So, the carbon nanotubes family is the comes under the pullerin. You know that pullerin means nothing but of allotropes. The carbon, like a single bond and double bonds, come to close to form a mesh. So, the second one, the correct answer is the pullerin is the correct answer. Okay. The second one bit, the correct answer is C1, the pullerin. You can see the third one. If you see the third one, the maximum nanotechnology focus in, focus is on, here given the four options, semiconductors, hybrid materials, healthcare and information technology. Maximum nanotechnology will focus on the hybrid materials. Hybrid material means what you understood? Hybrid material means the one of that organic material and another one inorganic materials. Combined to form that hybrid materials. So that is the nanotechnology mainly focusing on the hybrid material. So third one bit option is B1 is the correct answer. Okay. Next we will move to, move to fourth one. Fourth one bit, what is the fourth one bit? You can see the which is the technique to produce nanotubes in sizable quantities. Okay, which is the techniques to produce nanotubes in sizable quantities. So A1 method is in arc discharge and B1 laser ablations and C1 is chemical vapor deposition and D1 all are correct. So out of these 3 is correct answer for the nano tube sizable quantities. These 3 techniques and other someone techniques they use for the nanotechnology, nano tubes preparation. You can see the fifth one bit. Who coined the term of green chemistry? So who first found that the word green chemistry? He had given the 4 scientist names. Torset, Paul, T, Anastas, and C1 is John C. Warner and B1, D1 is the Belgilius. So B1 is the correct answer. Paul T, he first discovered and he first kind the word of green chemistry, the term of green chemistry. You can see the sixth one bit is very important. Ideal synthesis should be. What is the ideal synthesis? Whatever if you do any synthesis of molecules, whatever compounds, sorry compounds what are the ideological what are the statuses to synthesis so nowadays 
the green chemistry making the major roles right see here given the four options a1 is atom efficiency atom efficiency means nothing but of atom economy atom economy means what you will understand the many possible incorporate all raw materials is converted into the final product so there is no by product there is no side product that is called atom economy and b1 is the safe and one step if you that whatever if you do the ideal synthesis it should be safe and it will be short and very short route one step and you can see that c1 what is the c1 involving no waste reagents environmentally acceptable there is no waste reagents will be form in ideal synthesis and mostly it is environmentally acceptable and the d1 is all the all correct so the sixth one answer is above three are the exactly is correct that's why the sixth one answer is all the correct is the d1 is the correct option you can see the sixth seventh one bit what is the seventh one bit the application of de novo fermentation to produce chemical directly from biomass is called red biotechnology green biotechnology white biotechnology and refining what is the meaning what is the main aim of the red biotechnology red biotechnology is produce the vaccine and antigens and green biotechnology means it will be develop the to improve the nutrition to the plant that is the main aim of the green biotechnology what is the white biotechnology white biotechnology main aim is to degradable products like bacteria virus yeast so that is the seventh one is correct answer is c white biotechnology is correct okay for the producing a chemical directly to biomass that is called white biotechnology is the correct option for seventh one you can see the eighth one bit an ester used has medicine is ethyl acetate ethyl benzoate methyl salicylate and methyl acetate so the correct option is methyl acetate methyl acetate means nothing but of acetic salicylic acid derivatives like uh, methyl 2 hydroxy benzoate the name of methyl 2 hydroxy benzoate so methyl salicylate is the derivative of salicylic acid that is used for has the ester for medicine so eighth one correct option is c next one see the ninth one anti fertility drugs are generally steroids alkaloids terpenoids and phenol we are given the four option so steroids are the anti fertility drugs for generally they are using so ninth one option is ninth one correct option is a1 is the correct option okay next we'll go for 10th one bit 10th one bit is leprosy what is the meaning of leprosy leprosy means like uh, it is caused by the bacteria leprosy is the one disease caused by the bacteria like uh, what is the bacteria like mycobacterium librain the leprosy mean the disease caused by bacteria that bacteria name is mycobacterium librosi sometimes they will call the bacteria name also right so the leprosy is a disease caused by bacteria a disease caused by virus a disease caused by deficiency of lactone in the body a disease caused by deficiency of lipids in the body so leprosy is the disease caused by the bacteria is a correct option for the 10th one 10th one bit correct option is a1 next coming to that 11th one the two strands in dna are held together by covalent bond van der waals force and hydrogen bonds and electrostatic force so two standards of dna like two helix held together by the formation of hydrogen bond dna means nothing but a di, di, dihydroxy nucleic acid so it forms between the two uh, like uh, ladders hydrogen bonds will form the two helix next one see the 12th one bit so 11th one answer is the c1 is correct option and 12th one elect electrides are formed from crown ethan cryptate calcite and cavitate so crown ethan is the correct option for the 12th one so 12th one answer is a 
नेक्स्ट वन सी सॉरी नेक्स्ट वन सी थर्टीन वन बिट द मोस्ट टैक्स स्पीसी ऑफ मेरकिरी इन वाटर इज एच जी टू प्लस एच जी टू प्लस टू एंड सी एच थ्री एच जी प्लस एंड नन सो द मोस्ट टैक्स स्पीसी ऑफ मेरकिरी इज द सी एच थ्री एच जी प्लस सो थर्टीन वन सी इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन वन वाइट लंग्स कैंसर इज काज बाई एबेस्टॉस सिलिकॉन टेक्सटाइल एंड पेपर सो वाइट लंग कैंसर इज काज बाय द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज हु आर वर्किंग इन द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री द मोस्टली दे सफर इन दि द डिज इज वाइट लंग कैंसर ओके सो फोर्टीन वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज द सी एंड यू कैन सी द फिफ्टीन वन विच वन इज नॉट द एंथ्रोफेजनिक सोर्स ऑफ रेडिएशन सोलार रेडिएशन मेडिकल एक्सरेज रेडियो ऐसोटोप्स न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट सो ए वन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर सोलार रेडिएशन नेक्स्ट वन सी दिक्सटीन वन टर्बिडिटी इन वाटर मे बी चेकड बै कैलोजीनेट सच हेज फेरिक क्लोरइड फेरिक सलपेट फेरिक आलूम सो आल आर् यूज फॉर दि टर्बिडिटी टू चेक दि टर्बिडिटी इन वाटर कैलोजीनेट and you can see 17th one uh, global warming potential is highest in cfc 11 cfc 12 hcfc 22 n2o so b1 is the highest global warming potential cfc 12 is the correct option for the 17th one next 18th one arsenic commonly occurs in insecticides fungicides herbicides And all the above. So, eighteenth one, right answer is D. All these above. These three are the arsenic common occurs in insecticide, fungicide, and herbicides. From these, I will close to today important points for interdisciplinary. I would I I would like to introduce one best quotation. I like this quotation from Abdul Kalam. He said that if you want to shine like a sun. first burn like a sun thank you for your great patience if you like this video please like share comment thank you boys see you